Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Millennium Pro Wrestling presents and Power Surge. And we got a hell of a matchup for you tonight. Uh, I am with you here, Danny Devine here on commentary. Read the bell. And uh, the big man, Sweet Robin Shaw or Papa Shaw, whatever you want to call him, whatever he's going by these days, squaring off with Jacob Tarasso. Now, as we know, Robin Shaw, the number one contender for the national championship. What a show of, dis of strength by Robin Shaw throwing off Jacob Tarasso here. Robin Shaw, that, the number one contender really for the MPW National Championship, that currently held by Maximilian Montclair. Uh, Jacob Tarasso, uh, you know, trying to get his foot in here, Millennium Pro Wrestling. Essentially, yeah. turning side headlock here on the big man, Robin Shaw. Size advantage clearly in Robin Shaw's favor. What a shoulder tackle by the big man. And, you know, we know that Maximilian Montclair sitting here ringside, Robin Shaw continuously saying that that's going to be you. Now, Robin Shaw, as we know, former MPW national champion, was champion for almost one full year. Uh, so looking to get that championship back. And Tarasso on the outside taking a breather, able to get back in the ring. Tarasso just looking to build any kind of momentum at all, calling for a test of strength. Seems like a bad move. I bet I got this, okay? You've got this, okay. Yeah! And going low, classic Jacob Tarasso, kick to the gut. Looks like all it did was bother so the big sorry. man. Series of forearm shots by Tarasso. What an Zagiri in the corner. Man, stunning. Uh, okay, the big okay, man, he's got to okay, take advantage go. here. That's, yes. that's, that's not going to work. Robin Shaw, too big, too yes. strong for Tarasso. Let's Going go, again, Irish go, whip. Okay. Robin let's Shaw go. reverses the momentum oh, into the far side of the ring. Jacob Tarasso able to use his agility, probably the advantage in this matchup. Goes for the arm, nice drape over that top rope. And slides in Robin Shaw, almost like a bug to the to the to the bug zapper, just shakes it right off and feeling it across the ring. Robin Shaw, one of the biggest, most powerful men in Millennium Pro Wrestling, has been for many years with another big deal across the ring. Jacob Tarasso draping over the rope, trying to collect himself here. Stop! Please stop! 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 Just. Stop! That's a mistake. Yeah, it's a mistake. Jacob Tarasso throwing a knife edge chop at the big man, Robin Shaw. Robin Shaw inviting I, seconds, if you I, will. Yeah. And, oh, Robin Shaw answers, caving in the chest of Jacob Tarasso. Oh, and, oh, gets him again. Man, you know, I, I'd feel bad. But, you know, Tarasso is asking for this giant punt to the side of the head by Robin Shaw. Cover. Not going to win with this one. One, two, hey! You know, not nearly oh, enough, uh, enough weight on the shoulders to keep down Jacob Tarasso. Been in the game far too long. Far side. Robin Shaw comes in just like a locomotive, crushing Jacob Tarasso in the corner. Looking to send a message again to Maximilian Montclair, who he will face on April 2nd at the California Classic for the National Championship. Jacob Tarasso just eats a right hand from the big man. One, two, Tarasso still getting the shoulder. What is that, a bell? There's a bell here, a little premature bell being rung. Our official Willie calling it off, making sure that, that he knows that this match continues. Robin Shaw blaming our ringside attendant. Just crushing the cranium of Jacob Tarasso. And Robin Shaw is just an absolute grizzly bear of a man. Draping Tarasso across the top with another just chest caving chop to the chest. Tarasso hanging on the top rope, just trying to build any kind of momentum here. And Robin Shaw just crushing the brain of Tarasso with this hold. You see this, Max? This is you. This is all Again. you. Robin Shaw absolutely taunting the MPW national champion, Maximilian Montclair, who's sitting ringside watching this matchup. Tarasso looking to fight back, getting to escape the big man, goes for the feet, able to duck the, the big shots, starting to build a little bit of something here is Jacob Tarasso. 
Robin Shaw again, too big, too strong. Nice eat defeat by Jacob Tarasso, just shoving the sole of his foot, foot, excuse me, into the jaw. Spinning forward, Robin Shaw goozles him up. Tarasso counters with a nice code breaker. High knee to the face, cover one. And not even a two count. Robin Shaw, too big, too strong, too much on the line. Tarasso looking to go high rent here, climbing to the top rope. Robin Shaw side coming. Got into position up on the shoulder. This could be sweet. Victory. That pile driver. That's definitely it. Count to 10. Oh, Robin Shaw. Not for you. Oh, my Lord. That's it. That's all she wrote. Robin Shaw with a decisive victory here at Millennium Pro Wrestling. Power Surge. Ladies and gentlemen. I am determined more than anything in the world right now, and that is to become the MPW National Champion. All the muscles in the world, Max, are not going to save you from 350 pounds driving you right into your chest. Why don't you come step into this ring with me and face me like a man? Robin Shaw, the number one contender, uh, calling it, out the oh, champion, oh, Maximilian Moncler, the Maximilian national Moncler. champion, sitting ringside. And it looks like we're going to see Maximilian Moncler get into this ring and face his challenger for April 2nd, the California Classic, oh, in the you, ring now. Uh, this is America. Try again. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour, Shaw. Last week, you became the number one contender for the NPW National Championship. The most important thing in the world to me. And you know what? Congratulations. But let me remind you of something. You barely won that fatal four-way. Is that right? Barely. Yeah? Well, how about this? You're a one-trick pony. How are you going to barely beat me, Mr. Powerbomb? Because, quite frankly, you can't powerbomb me. Wow, big words from our challenger. Let me tell you something. Maximilian Montclair is the best in SoCal, and he's going to run! Oh, and here we go. Robin Shaw, typical, attacks him with his back turned, sends him into the corner. Robin Shaw now just going to work on the national champion, his opponent. For two weeks and what the Eddie Roar? What Eddie Roar in the ring? Eddie Roar coming to the defense of Maximilian Montclair? And now these two guys teaming up on Robin Shaw who makes a run for it. What are we witnessing here? Eddie Roar, I haven't seen Eddie Roar since since last time he lost that triple threat match for the national championship. And Eddie Roar now, former national champion, handing the Hopefully handing the belt over to Maximilian Moncler. Oh! Some hesitation here from Eddie Rohr. Oh man, the tension. He can cut it with a knife, but Eddie extending the hand after helping coming to the aid. Maybe an alliance coming together. These two will be right back at MBW Power Surge. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to MPW Power Surge. Danny Devine calling the action. We got a tag team championship contest. Full send defends against Alec Tomas and Cameron Gates. Four young studs here in the ring for this tag title match. Alec Tomas, sharing some choice words. Bell sounds, here we go. Tag team titles on the line. I'm not the real champ. You lost your belt. I got Done. the belt. Done. Hey. You lost it. Hey. What? Remember when I was the champ 
I beat you. Yeah. That's our champ. Yeah. Hey, that's yeah. old. And I oh, might not Justin have Daniels. That championship, but I still got the tag titles, so you need to shut your mouth, all right? That's Justin that's Daniels, a little history lesson for Alec Tomas. A decorated champion is Justin Daniels. Here we go, these two young men tie up. Alec Tomas definitely has the height advantage and probably very similar in strength, these two young guys. Alec Tomas able to use those long legs to buck off Dustin Daniels. We should, we got to scale out here. And obviously throwing that. Nah, it's not six. That trash, Dustin Daniels. No slouch in the gym. He's Dustin Jack Daniels for a reason. I don't think Alec Tomas is, is, knows what he's talking about here, but definitely trying to get into the head of Dustin Daniels. These two guys tie up yet again. Alec Tomas into the corner, pulling the hair. Cheap tricks by Alec Tomas, former member of the Republican Party, now allying himself here with highly recommended Cameron Gates in this tag team matchup. Dustin Daniels, a three-time tag team champion, former MBW champion, goes around the waist side, headlock takeover by Dustin Daniels. Two counts. Excuse me, it looked like a little roll-up. We're both young guys. Dustin Daniels, veteran instinct. Dustin Daniels, only a young, very young man, but uh, been in the game almost eight years. Another side headlock takeover by the young veteran Dustin Daniels. Alec Tomas going back to the hair. Locking him up with a head scissors. Both these guys, no slouches when it comes to the technical side of wrestling. Dustin able to find his way out of there. Back to that side headlock. Dustin, when you got, when you got big arms like Dustin headlocks, definitely a challenge. Alec Tomas had enough. This wasn't just a wrestling match, Wow, series of strikes by Alec Tomas. Again, just peppering Dustin Daniels. Big chops to the chest. Oh, just echoing here at the MPW Arena. Dustin Daniels fires back. Big shots. Dustin Daniels lefts and rights. Going absolutely crazy. Discus punch by the absolute stud. Dustin Daniels, one half of the MPW Tag Team Champions going to work here on the ribcage of Alec Tomas. Looks like he's seen it. The crowd feels like counting tonight. Raining down these heavy hands in the corner. Ten. Ten big shots. You heard it, folks, from the audience. And now Dustin Daniels really taking advantage here. Oh, Tomas, another thunderous chop to the chest by one half of the MBW Tag Team Champion. Shoots across Alec Tomas, shoot reverse, up and over with Dustin Daniels into a beautiful hip toss. Tag made, here comes Busio, the 2024 Millennium Cup winner, now currently one half of the Tag Team Champion. Shoots Alec Tomas across double back elbow by the champs. Cover here, only a two count. Alex Tomas not gonna stay down that easily. Busio, oh, is looking to gain arm control on Tomas. Going back to those strikes, another big chop to the chest. Alex Tomas tag made, here comes highly recommended Cameron Gates. Busio able to duck out of the way. Beautiful Pele kick by young Busio. Going here, monkey flip sends Cameron Gates all the way across the ring. Here comes Busio, absolutely high octane offense. Will Campbell is trying to get to a power set position. Busio used it to turn into a head scissors. Drop kick into the second buckle. Uses the ropes. Tiger fade kick by Busio. Climbs up to the high rent district. We know Busio loves getting high cross body block out of the corner by one half of full sand. Busio. Absolutely insane. Al Tomas coming across the ring. What's he doing? Referees and clear not paying attention. Busio able to shake him off. Tag made. Here comes Dustin. Oh, and the strength of Dustin. He'll pick up his own partner. Sending Alec able to catch Dustin with a nice drop kick. Beautiful combination by the champs. Helping out his friend Cam Gates. Double drop kick by Full Send. Absolutely. Showing what tag team wrestling is all about. Beautiful combination. Case of the barrel splash. Cameron Gates gets the shoulder up at two. What an explosive flurry of offense there by the MPW tag team champions. Full set.
You know what? Dustin Daniels now with control of Cameron Gates. Maybe I think we know what day is coming up. It's leg day. Dustin Daniel getting his squats in camp, trying to drop his weight, preventing the champ from. Oh, and Alec Moss, what a high kick to the back of the head. Cam Gates pulls him down again on that high on that neck, covered by Cameron. Dustin Daniels able to kick out. It looks like we are having a bit of a momentum shift here in this tag team championship match. Ooh, big forearm shot by Cameron Gates. Dustin Daniels draped over the rope. Cam taking advantage, taking a second to pose for the cameras. And Alec Tomas taking advantage of the referee not being in position on that due to Cameron's interference. And now, just like a pack of dogs, we have got Cam and Alec just picking apart Dustin in their corner. More of these big shots to the ribs and chest. Oh, speaking of the rib, Alec Tomas coming up and dropping Dustin right on his rib cage. What a gut buster. Incredible strength by Alec Tomas. Cover. And only a two count. Dustin able to stay alive in this tag team title match. Holding on to this tag team championships. Dustin trying to fight back. Just trying to pop the chest of Alec Tomas. Alec, core buster. Whoa, what a knee strike by Alec Tomas. Able to neutralize Dustin's offense there. We thought Dustin might be getting some, some offense going in a huge size 12 boot to the face. Alec Tomas, absolutely one of the most, I think, underrated pro wrestlers here in the Southern California region. Just an absolute stud. What a beautiful right hand man. Is he taking advantage of the, uh, the referee's counts here is Alec Tomas. Can't take away the guy's talent. His attitude, not a fan of, but his talent, pretty good. Here comes Cameron Gates. Hesitation drop kick in the corner. These guys are absolutely smothering the champion and say, gives one to Busio for good measure. Unbelievable tactics. Cam Gates going for, uh, uh, Justin Daniels able to roll him up. Oh, and there it is. That's a huge lariat by Cameron Gates. Able to shut down that momentum again. Dustin Daniels looking to get out of this matchup. Really needs a tag here. Has got to get out of the ring. Man, what a beautiful job by Cam. And Alec cut the ring off. Here's that. What a, and that little shuffle into the right hand. We've seen so many times by Cam Gates. Tag made, in comes Alec Tomas. Shoots him right back into the corner spine first. Alec Tomas just taking advantage of the situation here. Really now wrenching on the head and neck of Dustin. This chin rock like an absolute python. The audience here at the NBA Arena are MPW faithful trying to will on one half of the Tag Team Champions. Dustin trying to throw some elbows, having very little effect on Alec Tomas. Back club, trying to take advantage of some Busio. Go for the tag there. Dustin Daniels able to swing the momentum into a DDT. Incredible series of mo movement there. Dustin Daniels has got to make a tag. The audience is trying to will on the champion. And tag made. Here comes Busio. Here comes Cameron. And Busio hitting everything that moves. Drop kick in the corner coming up. Maybe beautiful by Busio. We've seen it before. And this young man is like a absolute Super Bowl when he gets in the ring. And Alan Tomas sent to the outside by Busio. Non-stop movement. Drop toe hold by Cam, hung up in the ropes. What are we gonna see here? And Busio off the back of Cameron Gates on Alec on the outside. And the audience showing their appreciation for Busio. Catches Cam here on the ropes. What are we gonna see here? Springing up like ladders. Oh my goodness, using the ropes like stairs into the DDT. 
Alec Tomas saving the matchup for his team. That would have been it. Unbelievable dragging. Cam Gates to the corner. Tag made. Here comes Alec Tomas. Busio has got to recover from that series of offense. Oh no, and Busio. Oh, it, trying to fight out. Looks like tag made to Dustin Daniels. Alec Tomas looking for a power bomb. Maybe Lucio able to get out of it. Dustin Daniels coming in. Oh, right. What a shot. Another one. Alec Tomas hitting everything that moves. Spinebuster. What an incredible flurry of offense there by Alec. Now directing traffic, telling Cam Gates to get up. Alec Tomas, wow. We are really seeing something from this young man here today, grabbing yeah. Dustin Daniels and scooping him up in this fireman's carry position, telling Cam to climb to the top rope. What are we seeing here? Busio pushing Cam onto the outside, and Dustin turns it for the neck breaker, looking for full throttle. No way. Busio jumped up and through. Case of the wheel bear. Stutter by Busio. Oh, can we be seeing it here? They got it lined up. Cross faded by Fulson! And that's all she wrote. Champion of MPW here on the action. Calling it out, and Zara Zachary has gotten it right on top of Danny. Goes for the strike, and Danny takes one right from his jaw from Zachary. Zachary, oh, stiff shot to the chest. Zara Zachary controls it, he takes over, goes for the chop, hits the post instead. Zara fires back. I got issues, I said I got issues. Oh, oh Danny getting back to control. Fighting on this outside. Zara holds on, gives Danny the pose down. Danny goes down and Zara Zacker is on top. Zara Zacker fighting for her friend, fighting for Barbie boy. Gets Danny up. Goes, tosses him back into the ring. She's looking. Match officially underway. Hits the rope. Big back elbow from Zacker. Retreating to the corner, looking to get some space, but Zachary not giving him a second, comes off. Danny throws the boot, misses the delivery. Uh, rolls him up. Short flatliner by Zachary. Goes on to that cover, is that gonna be it? No, it is not. Zachary talking about how she's been looking to get that revenge on Danny. Two big matches they've had, two absolute match of the year candidates, but both times Danny Devine comes out on top. Zara looking to make a difference here tonight. Now she's setting up in the corner, that petite powerhouse with a, oh, oh my God, Zagger with a huge chop to the chest. And she may be small, but the might of those strikes and her strength is something else. Danny in the corner, he reverses. She reverses again. Danny goes up and out. His head just bounced off the ring apron and the floor. Zara throws Danny Devine all the way out. Oh, she's looking to head back. Going for this suicide dive again. But Danny had it scouted and gets a huge 
super kick. Zara Zacker is rocked. Zara trying to get to her feet, but Danny yes! gets on top. Gets a big psycho suplex. And now Danny is going to get back in control. Two count there. Zara finds her way out, but Danny Devine, this is where he likes to be. This is the control that he likes to have. Oh, the snap of the fingers. Zara trying to get, get back, feeling in those digits. Danny gets control of the back of the head. Oh, shot to the shot to that low back. Zara still trying to shake some feeling into those fingers here. Now Danny's slowing down the pill. Oh, starches are right across the cheek with that right hand. Roll. Oh, but Zara fighting the bag. Big kick to the gut. Returning with those strikes. And Danny shuts her down. Four forearms. In their mark. Danny goes to hit the rope. Dagger with a rolling forearm. Starches Danny across the face. Going for this neck breaker, but Danny rolls all the way through. Shoves her off. Close line. Zara showing that fight, showing that added, nope, she, oh, slow kick out there. You see the effects, the effects of those strikes to her jaw, to the head. You only can take so many of those and fight through. Zara Zachert, been working on her striking game, been working on that ground game. She's recently confirmed a nice tour of Japan over the next month, and as she's sacrificing, wearing herself out tonight, for her friend to fight for fight Danny, fight for Barbie Boy, even though she's got these big, huge opportunities coming up. That's the kind of competitor that Zachar is. But now Danny in full control here. Oh, she's working on those those loose joints where it hurts even more. Now we're pushing, showing that defiance. She ain't going down without a fight. Pushes him again. Oh, and throws a chop. Showing that he's alive, and Danny returns fire there. Zacher struggling to get up to a vertical base. Danny's setting her up here. Oh, wait a minute, but Zara's got Danny's fingers. He's got Danny's. Is he going to snap him? She does. How does it feel, Dan? <laughs> Zara, Zacher snapping the. Oh, no, but Danny gets that short boot off. Wait a minute, oh, but Zara throwing those yes. low shots to the gut. Big forearm yes. and jaw. Dan's over in the corner. European uppercut. Yes. That bears in the center. Goes for that corner roll in that. Oh, switch blade kick. She might be out. This could be it. Danny doesn't get enough weight on that cover. If he had put his whole body on there, maybe. But no, this lackadaisical cover may have just cost him the, the victory. One, two, three right there, and Zara. Zara just feeling the effects. Constant shots to the back of the head, to the chin, to the jaw. She's just taking it all in stride and finding a way out. She ain't done yet. But it's over now. Danny calling for the end. Calling for the finish. Pedigree time from the former world champion. Danny is going for it. Wait, no, but Zara's fighting. Zara spins out to the ground. Oh, up kick to the jaw of Danny Devine. Zara looking to find. He's fired up here. Across the ring, catches. Oh, and Seguri by Danny. Followed by a super kick. He's going to hit the ropes. Throws and misses. Zara. Oh, whoa, spear from Danny Devine. We don't see that very often. Is that it? No. Zara and Zacher at two and a half. Finds her way out again. And now the fans trying to will some energy back into Zara Zacher as Danny Devine looks to tear her down even more. Stands tall as she tries to find the will to keep fighting. Oh, what does he have here? He's got a menacing look. Throws her into the second buckle. We're going up. Oh, he calls for... Danny, Danny Devine loves his superplex, and it looks like that's what he's going for here. But no, Zachar throws some right hands, trying to get some space. And he backs off. Zara on that middle rope, jumps over, rolls through. Oh, 
Oh, wow! Super kick just knocks Danny right off his feet, and he gets out of the ring. Oh, and Zagreb's finding the time, finding the energy. She's going up and out. Danny's here. What is she? Oh, Danny catches her, but wait a minute, she finds her way through. Satellite DDT on the floor. Now Zagreb's got to get him back in the ring. That's got to be it. That's all. Oh, but she's trying to get this energy back. She's feeling the effects of the beatdown. She's been receiving, but she gets him up and gets him in. Zachary Poe and Sue Danny to his feet somehow. Oh, a code breaker from Zachar. Danny's still on his feet. He, whoa, yeah. wait a minute. German suplex. One, two, no. And that resiliency that Danny has, that's why he's a five-time champion. That's why he's done everything and more in MPW because he knows what it takes in this big kind of match. But now Zara Zacker on top, looking to capitalize on this fury of offense she just unleashed. Here she goes, and spring elbow. Doing the effect still though, she ain't giving it up, but Danny holds on. Oh, four on from Zacker, she's gonna try again. He was in the rope for some momentum, this time he gets it off, Danny goes up and over. Goes to hit the run for the petite powerhouse with a double A spine cluster. The straps are coming down. Zara Zacker is feeling it. Tries to throw him off, but Dean Devine throws her off and returns fire with a double A spine cluster, and both competitors are down. Unbelievable. The determination, the grit. This isn't even our main event, folks. These two just put it all on the line because that's what we do here at Millennium Pro Wrestling. Three. Four. Referee Sinclair administering that 10 count. Are we Four. going to see it? No way, but Danny's getting to his feet here. Zara trying, Six. trying to, let's see, it's like she a little got, got the worst of it for sure. But Danny is recovering Seven. now up to a foot. There's gonna be no double count out here tonight. Danny to his feet. Zachary to her feet. Oh, and she's going, she's calling for another German suplex. And he holds on, bucks her off. Yeah. The line yeah. misses. Oh, big European uppercut from Zachary. Oh, fast paced forearms there. She hits the ropes, and Danny with a super kick. Zara on her feet. No, just loses her feet. Danny with the setup. Wave his arm breaks. Big high knee strike. Zachary moves the boot, Danny catches, throws it down, knee is strike of his own. Yeah! Oh, but Zachary says no. Oh, and Danny shuts Shut her up. down with a super kick. It's the run. It's a guard from Zachary. Oh, she goes to the camera. That's got to be a one, two, no. Unbelievable. Strike for strike, hit for tat. It's, it's going to be a game of who can knock out who first. Danny Devine stunned. Zachary reaching through the sky, looking for the energy from the MPW faithful, and they're giving it to her in kind. Zachary is getting fired up. Oh, that head. She's feeling the effects of those strikes. Danny Devine still unsure where he is. Zachary calling for the end here. She's won multiple matches with this here. Here she's set up. Wait. Oh, but Danny might be just a little bit too big, a little too tall. He spins out. Oh, wait a minute, go for that cutter from the handspring. No, this is a rock. Cutter of his own. Oh, no, this is, oh, Danny Divine pedigree. Nice try, Zara Zacker. One, two, no, right, Zacker. Zacker barely rolls his shoulder. Like she's rolling out of bed. She doesn't know where she's at, but she finds the will to kick out. And Danny Divine is beside himself. Looking around, contemplating his next move. Meanwhile, Zachary holding on to her head, holding on to those ribs, just feeling every single shot that she's taking. Danny Devine complaining to referee Sinclair. Oh, talking trash to the fans. Danny Devine. Brutally beat down Barbie Shouldn't Boy last week. Go, saying that she asked for this. Oh. Now you're not going back to Japan because you're going to be hurt. 
Wow. Danny Devine, the insult. Shut up, too. Oh, calling out to every person, saying she's not going to get to go on her tour. What a piece of garbage. We've said it time and time again. After we did the Barbie Boy, he's going to try to do the same thing. To wait a minute. Wait a minute. But Zach are fighting. Shoots him up. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Jack Knight's pain. This could be it. One, two. No. Danny's out. Over that curve stop. Right, out of the way. Wait, handspring. Cutter connects. She got him. She got him. She's fired up. Hits the ground. Shining wall. Shining wizard knocks him. Loopy. One, two. Oh, she got him. Three. Zacker wins. Zacker wins. prestigious matches here. But I just haven't made it to the tippy top of the mountain yet. But I have a solution for that. You see, I have somebody here with me tonight that you guys may cheer for, but he's been waiting for this call. He's been waiting for the opportunity to show his true colors. So I want one of my heartless kings, Jeremiah Fresh, to come out. Because there will be more. Yeah. Much more. more. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome back to MPW's Power Surge. We got ourselves another tag team match. Danny Devine back here calling the action. The new team of the Heartless Kings, J2 Mattioli, Jeremiah Fresh, taking on former MPW tag team champions, the Crypto Cartel. AMF having a little fun. Dancing the night away here with the MPW faithful. J2, obviously not a fan of dancing, which is odd, seeing as he's uh, always coming out to some great music. Jeremiah Fresh uh, now aligned himself with J2 to call themselves the Heartless Kings. These two guys been tagging at other promotions here in Southern California. First time we're seeing them team up here at MPW. Matchup's gonna start here with Jeremiah Fresh and El Primo Henio Tribeca. And here we go. Jeremiah Fresh looking to make a quick tag. Primo will oh, hold on, take back wrist control. Now Primo looking for a big tag. Both these guys really immediately trying to 
Tag out. Jeremiah Fresh not going to play around too much longer. Big club to the chest. And oh, Primo, Mas Macho, calling him out. Ooh, big, heavy shots being traded by these two guys. Oh, and Jeremiah Fresh going low. Didn't want to take any more of those chops from Mas Macho. Picks him up with a scoop and a slam. Jeremiah Fresh. Very young, but incredibly talented. A young man, as we're seeing here, very agile for such a big guy. Oh, and cover here. Trying to make quick work is El Primo. And here we go. Hip toss, no way. Primo lands on his feet, scoops up Jeremiah Fresh out the back door. Jeremiah trying to get for a waist lock. Primo, drop kick. Wow, Primo taunting him into the, suckered him in, if you will. And here goes Primo, wrist control, chop to the chest. I think we know what we're going to see here. Primo, very experienced in Lucha Libre as one of his many forms of training. As we can see here, into the Hurricane Rana. Beautiful form, beautiful technique by Primo. Tag made, here comes AMF, the other half of the Crypto Cartel. Send Jeremiah Fresh into the rope, double backdrop, sends the big man all the way over, cover. Jeremiah Fresh able to kick out. AMF looking to keep control in his team's favor, Snapmare takeover. And oh, kick to the back, I don't think so. Sends him to the mat. Giving him a little soul food there with the back of his boot. Crypto Cartel love to have fun. Oh, and Jeremiah Fresh pulling the hair of AMF right in front of the referee. St. Clair being very lenient with that, letting the wrestlers wrestle, which I can appreciate here at Millennium Pro Wrestling, senior official St. Clair. And here we go, the Heartless Kings. The meeting of the minds there, if you will, by AMF. AMF saying it's time to dance. The playmaker probably not interested in that. Arm drag, no way. Oh, AMF. A little showmanship here. And taking him out at the heels. J2 not even letting a two count happen. And arm drag takeover, another one. AMF having a lot of fun here. Jeremiah Fresh gets one, too. We are having a party at MPW Power Surge tonight. The Crypto Cartel is hosting. Tag made. Here comes Mas Macho heading to the top rope. Nice wrist control by his partner. Oh, and Primo double axe handle really targeting the elbow joint and the arm of J2 here is the Crypto Cartel. Little hammer lock situation. Really wrenching on that elbow joint. J2 using the power, his size advantage, really just using his weight. Oh, Primo able to use his quickness cover. Another oh, drop kick. Beautiful form by Primo. Jeremiah Fresh barking from the other side. Primo lighting up the chest of the playmaker. AMF dragging in. J2. J2 able to fight out of it. AMF in a part of town he does not want to be. Tag made by Jeremiah Fresh. Oh, going up double suplex. Primo in for the save. Oh, double drop kick by the Crypto Cartel. Holding the ring. It's, uh, it's their house tonight. Love to see it. Great teamwork by the Crypto Cartel. Obviously, this match very important. Looking to see who may face the team of Full Send at the upcoming event, the California Classic, for those tag team championships. Crypto Cartel looking to get back in the hunt. The Heartless Kings looking to make a statement here. And Jeremiah Fresh once again going low, throwing these heavy strikes. Jeremiah Fresh is no slouch. 
tag made. Here comes the playmaker, J2 Mattioli, former national champion, former tag team champion. Been a champion all over Southern California. One of the most decorated. Oh, excuse me. What a chop to the chest. As I was saying, one of the most decorated champions in Southern California, J2. Calling for one more time. AMF, you know what? AMF giving him that one more time. And absolutely now peppering him, throwing him everything he's got. And J2 here in the corner with these series of left hand jabs. Big clothesline in the corner by AMF. Long time MPW favorite. Climbing to the top rope. Feels like, see if the crowd feels like counting yet again. Jeremiah Fresh coming to distract AMF and takes one of his own. Oh, J2 slips off the bottom, dropping him head first on that turnbuckle and up, down. Wow. J2 really just taken down the cartel here. Kick out at two. AMF really in a bad way here. He is in a bad place. Definitely want to try to get out of this situation, of this corner that he's in. Really, really in trouble here is AMF, the Heartless Kings, running rough shot. Beautiful. Plancha. Come on, man. AMF desperately reaching for the tag. Trying to get to his partner, Jeremiah Fresh. Back to these heavy strikes we've been talking about all night with him. Come on, right here. Follow my voice. Primo screaming for his partner, desperately hoping to get tagged into this matchup. And again, the Heartless Kings doing a great job of cutting off the ring. J2 now, control, AMF, defiant, fighting out of the corner, breaking the jaw, tag made. Oh, he's so close, can he get the tag? Jeremiah Fresh making the diving stop. Two count only, says referee St. Clair. Again, we appreciate our officials so much here at MPW. Senior official St. Clair, the uh, official of this tag team matchup. Jeremiah Fresh. Oh, ow, taking another jawbreaker here. Tag made. AMF so close to the corner. J2 this time taking out Primo. Huge forearm shot to AMF. Absolutely devastating. J2 Mattioli, one of the hardest strikers in Millennium Pro Wrestling, maybe in Southern California. Absolutely what's happening here. Oh, using J2, his partner's back. Two count only to elevate that guillotine leg drop. AMF able to hang in there. Needs to make a tag desperately. Try something, try something. Come on, make my day. Oh, Primo begging, pleading with Fresh to hit him so that he can come into this matchup. Primo itching to get in, helping his partner, his friend. Oh, come on. The Heartless Kings. Oh, the sound of leather boots on the, just the meat of your back is not a sound that any wrestler enjoys hearing. J2 ah, wrenching at the head there. and neck on, of they AMF. Ah, the end of these chin locks, and you can see J2 postured up on his, on his leg there. Drive the knee into the back, making it difficult for air to get to your lungs. AMF struggling to fight up. Throwing some elbows to the ribs. And J2 clubbing back down. J2 swinging a miss and oh Primo makes him pay for it. Another jawbreaker by AMF. 
Here comes Fresh, able to swing around, picks him up, goes for some kind of a fair hug of sorts. AMF still fights out of it. Another jawbreaker. Kick to the back of the head. AMF with the spine buster. This is a momentum change that the Crypto Cartel needs. AMF needs to tag out here. Needs to get to his partner, Primo. Mas Macho on the apron, begging, pleading for that tag. Tag made, Heartless King, tag made, here comes. Mas Macho, beautiful springboard pulls out of the top of J2. Swings, was blocked. Here comes Primo, huge right hands. Shoots him across to the far side, up and over. Beautiful cartwheel, Primo Henio with all of his weight. Body splash in the corner, high kick, ends a Gary combination. Primo with J2 on his shoulders. Primo looking, oh, J2 going for playmaker Lariat, able to, Primo across with a big high knee. Only a two count. What an absolutely insane level of offense. We saw Primo come flying in with the springboard clothesline, taking on both the Heartless Kings. Tag made, not sure if this is a wise decision, AMF. Can't have recovered. Looks like maybe going for some kind of a double to back. Here, J2 able to fight his way out of it. Here comes Fresh. And the cartel able to stop. Giving him a bit of a ping pong back and forth. Here we go. Looks like a catapult up into AMF with a nice shot. Jeremiah Fresh not in the place you want to be. Elbow drop under the heart. Cover. J2 says no. Saves it for his team. And J2 going back to work on AMF. AMF has taken so much punishment in this matchup. Now the legal man. Primo's had enough. And Primo throwing some right hands at J2. Now all four men. This match is really just breaking down here. Shoot reverse. J2. Gets sent to the outside, fresh. And AMF, AMF taking advantage of the corner with a series of strikes. Time. Time for Crypto to crash. Looks like they're calling tag made. Here comes Primo. Looks like they're calling for that Crypto crash. Their finishing movement has won them. Tag team gold. Jeremiah Fresh swings his knee up into Primo to reverse it. Oh, colliding. Big boot by Fresh. Oh, and a beautiful wheel kick by Primo. Tag made. Here comes J2. What a shot. J2, Mattioli. Shoot reverses Primo into his own partner. Fresh depositing. J2 scoops him up. Oh, what a beautiful double team. Three, the Holus Kings with a huge victory over the Crypto Cartel. Why are you clapping for them? Uh, you should be clapping for me. You should be clapping for Jeremiah Fresh and Take Two Mattioli, the Heartless Kings. We showed all you pathetic people here that we are the best. We are. I am so much stronger with the Heartless Kings. And like I said before, this is just the beginning, baby. Just the beginning. When is your great tag team here, boss? But I bet you're all wondering what's next for the Kings. Okay. We don't care. We don't care. You may not care, but all the baddies care. No, we don't. All the baddies care. We are the best. Ain't that right, Fresh? No. That's right. Oh wait, wait, wait. Fresh, you see any baddies in here? No. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, no baddies in here. That's too bad. But you know what? MPW, we got some gold in our future, in our near future for the Heartless Kings. And that is 
MPW Tag Team Championship belts. Full send. I hope you're ready. Yep. Because we are. And those belts are coming home. And that's right. When you lose them at what, the California Classic? You will save your tears for another day. Save your tears for the California MPW Arena, MPW's Power Surge, the MPW champion, Brennan Devine, defends against Latino meat Che Cabrera in a battle of heavyweights here in our main event tonight. Very excited to be here calling the action. I know both these guys very well. Bell sounds. Let's get this title match underway. Referee St. Clair in there again calling the action. Che calling for a handshake. Bit of sportsmanship here, showed by the challenger. Forget the trust. Forget the trust. Jay's good. She's Brennan Devine, a little weary of this handshake. Don't, can't blame him. And handshake to start this off. Some sportsmanship. You love to see that. Doesn't happen much in pro wrestling, so it's nice when it does. Here for the biggest prize in our company, the MPW title. I got respect for Danny's little brother. Come on. Hey, Che, come on, man. Tough way to start this matchup. Not an insult if it's true. Che Cabrera. So that makes you uh, little brother. Colin Brennan, the, the little brother. Speaking as the brother, I can tell you, Brennan is certainly not little by any means. He is an absolute beast. Chalibers in the building? But do we do we have some believers in the building? Kind yeah. of divine playing mind games of his own. You just pay rent. Whoa. MPW's my house. Well, you know something, Duke Cass You're has just paying now. rent. How about that? Oh, Che Cabrera, my house is your house. We understand. But you are. These two guys. Uh, you know, great friends, better enemies, big lock up by these two absolute behemoths. Jay Cabrera got to have a bit of the strength advantage here. If you follow him on Instagram, the dude can in kind bench press all nearly 400 pounds. Just an absolute ox of a human. Brendan Devine, no slouch at the gym either, obviously. These two guys now tie up. Brendan able to get the advantage on this exchange. Backing them off, very respectful. Again, this match started with respect. Will it stay there? I doubt for very much longer, but we will see. We're gonna stay right here with it. 
call in this title match. And here we go. I already I spoke it into existence. Is that what we're doing? Is that how it's going? Yeah. Shit handshakes out the window? I mean, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Oof, just some heavy shoves from these guys. I'll say it again. Danny's always been my favorite. Oh, Jay, again. Just going. Oh, Brendan Devine slapping the face of the challenger. Jay coming for a Larian shoulder block. No one does it better than Che. Oh, look at Eddie Early going for the jackhammer up. Brendan Small Package kicking out at two is Che Cabrera. And Che looking to get a beat down. Brendan able to slide around. Left on red. Che ducks through. Tries to follow up. Brendan sends him to the outside. And Brendan vaulting himself over the top rope into Che Cabrera. Wow. What a start to this main event. Power Surge, Millennium Pro Wrestling, championship matchup here for the MPW title. Incredible, here comes Brendan Devine now, using the ring to his advantage, all the way at the top cross, buddy, taking out Jay Cabrera, two count. Only able to kick out is the big man, Jay Cabrera. Brendan said he was willing to play nice. This match started with respect. Again, these two guys known each other a very long time. And uh, Brendan, again, we've been hearing these chops just all night tonight. Brendan Devine snapper take over, hits the ropes. Single footed drop kick to the side of the head cover. Jacob Burrow kicks out at two. Able to roll to the outside, trying to catch a breather is the challenger, Shea Cabrera. And again, as we know, the winner of this match will not only be MPW champion, but will face Matt Vandegrift, the New Japan Strong Survivor at the California Classic right here at the Millennium Pro Wrestling Arena. Brendan, what a right hand. These guys now taking the fight to the outside. Brendan leaning Shea up against that guardrail. You know, not, not where you want to be. Not where you want to be. Another thunderous chop. He's hurt. He's not feeling good. Jimmy Devine talking to the believers here in the building tonight for Power Surge for this title matchup. Another stiff right hand by Brendan Devine. You see his right hand is taped because he, uh, you know, Brendan, no slouch. He punch, he, he's not bad in a fight when he has to be. And Che, looks like something might be going on here. Jay is Jay's knee. He might be bothering him. Asking for referee St. Clair to check on him. Might have a little bit of a serious situation here, folks. Hate to see a match like this be called due to injury. Oh, Che really asking Brendan to back off here. Sliding down that compression and knee pad. Really trying to get some blood flow back into that knee. Oh, man, I'd hate for this to get called early. You hate to see athletes like this, what we put our bodies through, and you hate to see things end on an injury like this, but very real, it can happen. Che motioning to Brendan to continue. And oh! Che, what an absolute snake. Oh, che Cabrera, damn it, damn it. He's fine, look at him waving his leg. I guess it's fine now. Unbelievable, Che. Like I said, I knew the respect wouldn't last long, but man, it went out the window quicker than I thought. Che Cabrera now taking advantage of our champion. Head first into that into that buckle and those pads, folks. I know that we when you see it on YouTube here, those pads look like pads, but they are thin. There's metal hooks under there, so when you get your head bashed into those things, you're hitting ooh, metal. Speaking of getting hit, Che Cabrera peppering the champion in the corner now, choking him with his boot. Able to put a lot of pressure on that knee now, aren't you, Che? Unbelievable. The crowd even mentioning how his leg is now fine. And Che still limping. Brendan Devine trying to fight back. Che, very big, very strong clubs here. A power slam position. And Che Cabrera tossing Brendan again back into that buckle. Hits the rope. Beautiful back elbow sends Brendan inside out. Goes for the cover. Brendan. Keeps this title fight and his championship reign alive this time. Jay Cabrera 
admonishing our referee, St. Clair, again, senior official St. Clair doing a great job here tonight and every night at Millennium Pro Wrestling. And Chase sending Brenda to the outside, hits the apron hard on the way out, wasn't able to brace himself. And Che Cabrera really now just absolutely devastating shots to our champion, Brendan Devine. Wow. Che Cabrera is an absolutely one of the most heavy handed men in all of Southern California. Those chops. You ask a wrestler who hits you the hardest, Che Cabrera is always in the conversation. Speaking of Brendan, able to duck through and answer back. What a big boot to the side of the head of Che, the challenger now reeling from that one. Brendan's got to get him in the ring now if he wants to hold on to this championship. Oh, and Che reverses it, sends Brendan in. Unbelievable, these two absolute giants fighting for our biggest, richest prize, the Millennium Pro Wrestling Heavyweight title. Che Cabrera sending Brendan across the road. Brendan able to hook him up, backslide here. One, two, Che rolls out of it. Brendan catches him, flat liner. We know what he's going for here. Koji clutch, able to really wrench this in. Shoving his wrist bone and his calf across the throat of Che Cabrera. The pain is excruciating. Will Che tap out? Can Brendan make the big man tap? Now a hold like this, particularly difficult on a guy Che's size, his deltoids, his shoulders, just way too big for Brendan to really get a lock there. Che was able, you can see, able to elbow his way out of it. But man, the damage has to have been done. Being in it even for a short time just messes with it. your breathing and your ability to, to breathe it affects your ability to wrestle. You can see Che taking big deep breaths due to that Koji clutch. But going to the lower back, really you can see him there grabbing his face and his neck. That hold is not a joke. Brendan Devine here still trying to fight back, just mustering whatever he can. And Che Cabrera again, damn it Che. Going for the eyes, just, you know, we thought we were going to get a nice, clean title matchup. And Che Cabrera taking every shortcut that he can. Man, these two guys both really, really decorated histories here in MPW. And Che trying to go for that power slam again. Brendan slips out the back door, up and over goes Brendan. Beautiful atomic drop. Brendan hits the rope, clothesline to the back. We know what he's going for here. He likes this senton. All of his weight comes crashing down on the challenger. Unreal, Brendan, not a light man. We heard him, that 230 pounds came crashing down on Che Cabrera. Unable to make the cover, as you can see. Still reeling from all the punishment he's taken in this title matchup. Both men slow to their feet. Brendan Devine up to his feet first, trying to build a little momentum here. Shoot, reversing, weaves underneath. Brendan up and oh, looking for that spine buster. Che Cabrera not going to let it happen. And Brendan still pulls it out. And Che Cabrera out at two. What an incredible move by Brendan Devine. Just driving the big man down to the mat. See, here's the thing that we don't talk about too often, but when you're a big guy, when you're a wrestler with a, that with a lot of weight, with a lot of muscle, those slams, they hurt. That's a lot of weight coming crashing down. You can see the effect that Spinebuster had on the big guy, Che Cabrera at Brendan now. A little bit of disrespect of his own with the boot scrapes. Could he be calling for the end? Left on red, hooking up the challenger, spinning him through, and Che up, oh, spine buster of his very own. Yeah. Rolls back the champion. Yeah. Picks him up, going maybe for Death Valley Driver here. Brendan fights out of it. Che ducks through. What an incredible knee strike. High knee, we haven't seen Brendan do that in quite some time. Oh, wow, what a beautiful maneuver by Brendan Devine. Che able to kick out.
You know, Brendan has not busted out that flying knee strike in quite some time since he's put on all this extra size. He tends to be more grounded, more to his feet. But when it's a big matchup, he pulls out all the stops. And we saw it here with that flying knee strike. I've seen that win him titles. Wasn't able to keep his title here tonight. Gonna have to go back into his bag of tricks, come up with something else. Brendan Devine, first to his feet. Well, speaking of, Brendan Devine, we... Oh, <laughs> little homage here. And here we go, Brendan trying to get the big man up for a power bomb, and Jacob Brera back dropping the champion. Oh, Brendan Devine really feeling the effects of that one. Turns around, Jacob Brera with a lariat. That might be it. We, do we have a new champion? One, two, Brendan. Able to kick out. That was close. What a lariat by Latino meet our challenger for the MPW title, Che Cabrera. Absolutely incredible. This matchup, this main event, only can be seen places like, uh, you know, we, these two guys at a place like this, MPW, every Friday night here in Chatsworth, California. We hope you'll join us live. If you're watching here on YouTube, please like, share, and subscribe. Che Cabrera, the challenger, maybe looking for superplex here. Really having to bust out everything. Che Cabrera climbing high up, trying to get into position. Oh, looking maybe for jackhammer or superplex. Brendan holds on. Brendan sliding through, tucks the head of Che Cabrera, has him trapped. Ooh, what do we see here? Missile drop kick right in the face. And Brendan Devine. Oh my. And here it is. Power bomb. Beautiful. This might be it. One, two. Che Cabrera keeps his championship dreams alive for another few moments. Unbelievable. Brendan Devine. What an incredible series of moves we just saw there. Flying in with the drop kick, able to get that power bomb off. Both men exhausted. What a match. What a title match. Well, main event we are seeing here at Millennium Pro Wrestling. Again, every Friday night, you can see us here in Chatsworth, California. Some of the best pro wrestling in not just Southern California, but all over the world. And you're seeing two of the best. MPW champion Brendan Devine, challenger, Latino meet, Che Cabrera, going to war here for the MPW title. Brendan Devine across the ring, Che Cabrera puts him up on the shoulders, maybe going to Guatemala slam. No way, Brendan. Sunset flip, Che Cabrera kicks out, picks him up, and DVD, DVD. Che Cabrera looking for his swinging neck breaker, Yastubo, it's over. New champion. Brendan Devine out at two. Unreal. Wow. Wow. I, I am in disbelief. Disbelief. Che Cabrera, beautiful series of offense there. Thought he was putting him, putting him away, becoming the new MPW champion. What a main event. What a main event. We're halfway through the year, and, and ladies and gentlemen, we might be seeing... Our MPW match of the year with this one. Unbelievable. Che Cabrera looks like he may be calling for the end, going for that jackhammer. He's beaten so many with this move. Brendan Devine trying to block, using those big legs of his, trying to hold back. Che up. Brendan goes out the back door. Looks like he's hooked for left on red. What a shot from Che. Che off the road. Oh, went for the shoulder by Brendan, caught him in midair. Hooks him up, left on red. That's gotta be it. One, two, three. Brendan Devine is still your MPW champion here at Power Surge. Oh, there's so many things and words I can't say because my brain's scrambled now. All I can say is I love you, brother. I'm a champion for life. Everything is 
inside, even that I prefer Danny over you. Whatever, forget about that right now, real quick. I've known you and your brother for the longest, more park, whatever, to now, you know, and the person you guys have become just blows my mind, you know. But regardless of the fact, like I said, it don't matter, Danny, Brandon, who's my favorite, whatever. <laughs> Tonight, I got one thing from this. You made me a believer tonight. So thank you. I love you too. Good day, honey. I think that I've earned the next week off, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully get a little bit of rest before my big match at the Classic. Yeah. I'll still be here, but maybe not a match. Yeah. Maybe a quick break. Okay. Maybe some commentary, maybe a promo, but I don't know. I don't know about that, but I know one thing for sure. Matt Vandergriff, one of the best in the entire world, the New Japan Iron Survivor. I want you at the California Classic, and now it's a guarantee. Bring all those survival instincts. Bring your flips. Bring your magic when your chemistry sets. You're gonna get left on red, and you're gonna believe. MPW, you are here all the time, and this is your first show. We love you, we thank you for making noise, we thank you for coming out. We love you so much, we're here every.